Hey everyone, welcome to Weld.com. I hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy. Today we're going to switch it up a little bit. Don't know if this is going to pass. I think it will. So today we're going to be doing a little short circuit. Uh, we're going to be welding on 316 uh, type of material, 3 8 plate, quarter inch backing with a quarter inch gap and about a 37 half degree bevel. I'm going to put it in this fixture so it won't bend because stainless banana is really fast. I think it's going to pass. I could be wrong, but uh, stick around. Let's find out. Today I'm going to be running a Vesta ER316 SI bowler wire 035. It's a 316 stainless wire. I'm using the ESOB 285. On my settings, I like running my pre-flow about 0.5 seconds, letting all the bad atmosphere, it pushes it away. And my inductance, I run at 90%. I like to have my puddle really fluid uh, because it's always stiff. Stainless steel wire is stiff. I want that kind of soften up and kind of float out like a ER70S-6 or at least try. On my post flow, uh, I usually, this is machines five seconds. I got it all the way to the max. I like to hold my gun just like TIG, like you're doing with a gas lens on stainless. My burn back's about half a second because uh, with stainless, right when you stop welding, it basically wants to stick right there. Um, so I basically have it up like a half a second or 0.22 of a second. And my wire feed speed's uh, 303. I like running a little bit, running high. I want to get that penetration. And on the volts, it's 19.7, the uh, bowler wire recommends between 19 and 22. So we're gonna be running about 19.7, I like that. It's running pretty sweet. And uh, we're running tri-mix, and I'm running about 25 to 30 CFH. So all we did is basically took a buffing pad um, and basically just removed this like this oxide layer off on the sides right here, about a half inch to an inch right here on top. Same on the back side um, and the sides of this uh, backing strip. No, don't be crazy with it, just get it done and move on. So we're gonna go ahead and tack this up Tack here, tack there, tack on both sides. Make sure you're holding the plates down. You want no gap right here, bad. Then flip it back upside down and we're gonna put a little bit extra tacks here on the back side. So key thing is when you're welding stainless, uh, it produces CR6 when it up in the fumes. It's very poisonous. Uh, be safe, always use a fume extractor. So this is very sluggish, I already know. So we're gonna kind of pause on the side. Try to work it. That's why I got my inductance really high. And I'm trying to lead, bring my wire up in that middle of that uh, puddle, kind of lead up in the middle a little bit. I want to try to get it biting in. I got my wire. I turned my actually my wire feed speed up more. I'm trying to get way more penetration. Just working it back and forth. I'm running a little bit, my bolt's a little bit higher than normal because I'm trying to get that first speed, the first pass to bite in good in that base plate. And I'm just going to keep working out over here. We're going to stop. So I'm just going to quick wire brush this really quick. So just by looking at this, I'm kind of nervous. See how it's like the sides right there? I'm going to take a little grinder, spend about five seconds or 10 seconds, hit the edges, just to guarantee I don't have no lack of fusion. And uh, then we're going to continue on to the next pass. So I'm going to do a stringer. I'm going to try not weave any because I'm going to try and get my penetration in there. I'm just going to watch that bite in. I'm going to just follow my little line I just cut in there. And I'm just going to like do a little tight W. I'm going to hesitate on the top for a second. Make sure you're keeping your head out of that form best you can. I'm dragging this. I like dragging. But look at that, look at that, it's running, it sounds even better. Good. I do a little technique I just thought of. I go from drag, if I get uncomfortable, I start going through a push. My wrist. That's it. So we don't have no BBs at all. That means we're running good. And look at our toes. Our toes are tying in good. There's no overlap. Uh, it's not finger nailing on the side, so it's burning in pretty good. Uh, see how it's getting blue, it's getting hot. So walk away for five or 10 minutes, do something else. Right now I'm gonna wire brush this. And I'm just gonna hit that toe right here really quick. I'm gonna hit all my toes just to increase my uh, chance of passing. But I, I don't know if it's gonna pass. I'm just gonna kiss some sides. So we're ready to weld. But also I forgot we gotta give a little break. So I'm gonna do a little slight manipulation. 
I'm going to kind of pause on my sides just to hesitate, like a 1001. 1001, 1001, good. Keeps you uh, nice and consistent. Like one, 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 until you get your nice rhythm out, nice rhythm down. I'm like I'm liking that puddle. It's, it's getting nice and fluid, or it's nice and fluid. That's why I like having my inductance up a lot. We don't have no spatter really. We're running pretty good. We're gonna keep going back and forth. So I kind of like this right here, this part. This part must have been kind of lumpy up underneath or built up higher. Um, you're allowed to get a grinder. Uh, depends what test, but this test we're doing, do a little grinder. I should have leveled it out so it looks like this, nice and consistent. Uh, I can level this out right here now with a grinder, I probably will. But look at these sides. I'm pretty happy that we're nice and burned in on the side. Um, right now we're just going to hit this right here. And uh, with a grinder, just get rid of any lack of fusion and we're gonna wire brush it. And then uh, we're gonna wait a minute. So I'm noticing some silica deposits right there. See that glassy? We wanna get that off, never run over it. See it right there? And see it right here? And also, I'm, see how I'm gonna kinda level this out so my weld won't be so lumpy when I put my cap on. I think that's pretty cool enough. So we're almost to the cap. We're going to do one layer of fill pass. So I'm going to do four quick beads or quick stringers. And I want to do no slow because it's going to hump up too much. Uh, then my cap's going to be above eighth inch. So we're going to do four quick ones, make sure I'm tied in, grind my toes, and uh, that's it. We're going to make sure we're waiting in between passes a couple minutes. I try not to let my inner pass get over 350 degrees. The inner pass means right here where you're running, inside your bevel. <clears throat> but I always check in a couple spots. So I'm over 200, under 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and keep running it and make sure it's 200 in between each pass. We got our uh, fill passes all in. I'm about a 16th, about a 30 sec 16th to 30 seconds below the cap. I mean, below the base metal surface. Uh, just this one bead, I gotta have to grind maybe a little bit, but uh, I didn't do four beads, I did three beads, but everything looks burned in. I mean, I like it all. I got, we got rid of the smoke. I'm just gonna get rid of the spatter and grind my toe before I start my cap. So I'm thinking about five bead cap we're gonna lay here. So my goal is to make each bead as straight as possible. So you want to grind straight as possible. That's very important because when you grind, you're going to follow that top edge of your grind mark where you left. If that's straight, your bead's going to be straight. All right. And also when I grind a groove in there, the, uh, my cap won't be so humped up. It'll be nice and uniform too. So we got good tie-ins. I'm looking at this. This one right here, this toe right here, on the top side. All right, that's what I'm looking at. I wanna make sure that's tied in because I can't take a grinder. I'm screwed if they're, if I can't tie in right here. It's not a good tie in. So I like it. Uh, we got a little humped up right here, probably because of my rhythm, but it's fine, it's passable. All right, so I'm just gonna grind a groove right here on this side, make sure I'm good tie in. And that's it, we're gonna wait a couple minutes. The first beat and the last beat's the hardest for me. So when you go get a new wheel, always try to color code it right away for stainless. So right here we got yellow. Uh, we're using a Weiler Pipeliner wheel. Uh, this is, is for stainless or carbon for grinding. The reason you want to mark it, uh, because you don't want to do cross contamination. Carbon to stainless or stainless wheel to carbon, because when you go back on stainless, you'll have uh, particles in here from car of carbon steel. So very important thing to do is mark your wheels. So we want to make sure our beads are overlapping by half. We want to do a slight hesitation. That's what stainless steel wants to do. It's hard to move, so you want to definitely hesitate over there for a quick second or half a second. You don't have to keep your bottom toe as accurate. You're going to put a grind mode mark in there to get rid of your bottom toe. Everyone's going to see your top toe because you can't fix it anymore. Always well to the end. All right, we got this all done. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it came out pretty all right. 
we're nice and straight right here. A little convex right here, but I don't think that's over an eighth inch. I think we're right under there. Uh, we got good tie-ins here. That's what we're looking at. No undercut or underfill. Um, we're even, we're even got a fill right here. This is where usually the problems are in the test is right here when you stop. That's why I kind of alternate my beads. I run this way on one, then run this way when you can on a flat test or horizontal. So we're gonna check random spots here. This looks like the highest spot. So go right here. So here, here's one thirty seconds, here's one eighth. It's right, right there below one eighth. It's always good to check a couple spots here. Go right here, I'm not even gonna lift this off. So we're on eighth, let's go down the other end. It's almost the same as this, but a little bit less. So I think we're good. We're all good, so we're ready to go ahead and take this out. It's already, well, it's cooling right now. We're gonna take it over there. Measure inch in, inch in, inch and a half strap. Same thing on this side, inch in, inch and a half strap. Uh, cut it with a cutoff wheel. Then we're gonna grind the backing strap off. Then we're gonna make sure it cools completely to hand touch before we go bend it. All right, we got them all cleaned up, grind the weld flat. And just by looking at them, they look all right. Sometimes you use the Gatel if they're a lack of fusion, you have some lines in here, but even the edges look okay. So I marked my one, my root face, then we're gonna bend the face too. Camera guy was trying to say bend the root first, but I think that one's gonna bust. I think I'm gonna keep my luck up high. I wanna try to go face bend first. Fingers crossed, I hope it passes. Moment of truth, I'm scared. Not one thing busted up in at all. That's impressive. There's my face. I never did this before. I mean, this is interesting. Camera guy busting my balls over here. <laughs> All right, that's a pass. No problem there. Pass. Not worried about it. So we're going to do the root then. So the root goes down. This is the root. This is going to be the one I'm worried about. Uh, it looks okay so far, but we'll see. Right about now is where it's getting pressure at. Go all the way down. What do you guys think? Huh? Oh, it fell. Psych! I can't believe that passed. This was just a uh, random thought right here we had earlier today. Hey, will this pass? And there's nothing. Look, I'm actually shocked this passed because everyone says, uh, you know, I mean, short circuit, you can weld up to, uh, what is it, 5 sixteenths? But the, the, the uh what is it the backing strip was only a quarter inch and i turned up my wire feed speed so we get good penetration i'm impressed it's bowler wire i mean that's good wire then look at that uh make sure you guys subscribe we got a new video drop every monday and friday at 5 30. i'll see you guys next time stay healthy stay uh safe learning is key see you guys